Yeah, what's up with y'all, man? Welcome back to another NBA 2K23 video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the best jump shot. I know there are a lot of videos out there on the YouTube space where everybody seems to have the best jump shot. But this is not the best jump shot in terms of green window, release speed, shot timing, shot impact, all that, even though it has good, uh, you know, grades in that area. It's more so about having a cue when you're shooting. So there are people out there that don't have the best internet, that don't have gaming monitors, that are playing on Wi-Fi and not Ethernet, that are playing wirelessly with Bluetooth to their PS5s or Xbox Series Xs that don't plug in via USB-C or USB. Um, there are also people out there that generally may just not be good at you know, following a certain standard of having, oh, well, if this has the best shot time and speed, whether it's early or, or late or whatever, maybe if I just do it like that. No, you just, sometimes you just don't have it. Sometimes you just don't have all the tools. But this jump shot that I want to tell you guys about today is a jump shot where you may not need all the tools. You just need to know where to release the ball. And what that means is for Q jump shots, I feel like they are the best jump shots simply because it's not hard to learn and you don't have to remember it every single time by shooting off field. For me, I have a ball head on my, my player. So for me, the Q is as big as day. I can see it literally with my eyes closed. But let's go ahead and uh, talk about the jump shot. Um, what I'm going to do now is roll a clip of me shooting with this build just to show you guys the cue, when to release it. And I'm telling you now, man, it's fire. Hey, Ron, prove your point, bro. Prove your point, bro. I got red vest, bro. I got red vest. You got red vest, bro? Yeah, give them all. Bro, how you got red vest? In what, bro? Jesus. And then you just got green, just... Give me that shit. Oh, shit. It's normal. It's like he just ain't have to just snap. That's wide open, huh? That was a clip Come on, right there. Yeah. Come on, That's bro. You tough. can't. Come on, boy. Good game. Let's go. It's only, it only takes it only takes a couple shots, bro. You know what I'm saying? You're Boy's a shooter. A shooter. You are a shooter. It's just a You're jump a shot, shooter. you know what I mean? That's all it is. I might need that jump shot again, you know? <laughs> Oh my, clip it if you finish it. Like, what was that? <laughs> oh! <Yeah. laughs> Don't reach! Yeah. Don't reach! Yeah, that was crazy. Shot. You got. Let's go. Move. Boy, shoot from hell. Take. Boy, gotta shoot from hell. <laughs> hell. So worried about that. You gotta worry about that shot, kid. No. Team takeover is crazy. Team take is crazy. Take over yet? 2K. Oh, there you go. Give me the move when I want it. I hate when you don't give me that shit. What? Oh, look at this kid. Maybe. That was nice. Get a picture, y'all. Clapping hands. <laughs> <laughs> they clap these other. Yeah, his arms are short too, I can tell. You gotta guard me, bro. Ew, did you hear him, chat? Is there anybody out here I can't score on? Ew! Jesus, Jesus, the walk back of hell. <laughs> All right, so now that you guys have seen the clips, when it comes to this jump shot, the reason why it's so great is because a third grader can use it. 
And what I mean by that is I've let my daughter shoot with this build inside of my career, just standing still in the corner after catching a pass and, you know, just doing a little bit of movements like this and shooting. And she's green, I believe, four out of 10. So if a third grader can shoot 40% from three, I know you can shoot at least 70 to 100% from three. Before we do anything with the jump shot inside of Jump Shot Creator, which we'll get to, this is the settings that I use when I'm shooting online, all right? I turn vibration off, I don't use trigger effect, and I don't use a shot meter. I recommend that you turn off the shot meter and go inside of my career and play on three different difficulties. Play on rookie, play on pro, don't play on semi-pro, it's, it's literally play on rookie, play on pro, and play on superstar. If you can hit your shots consistently, whether it's 80% on rookie, 60% on uh, pro, and 40% on superstar, that goes to show like, okay, it's easy for you to learn this jump shot, all right? Also, shot time and release time. Please do not listen to anybody else out there about jump shots who want you to shoot on early and very early. For those people, they're shooting off a of feel. They're not looking at their mop player when they're shooting because they can't see a cue. They just know to hold it a certain amount of time and to release it. They're not looking at a cue. For all my cue shooters, shoot on late. That means by the time it's time for the ball to start moving forward like this, that's when you'll know it's time to release that shot, all right? Um, now, as far as everything else, uh, defenders, you know, who to guard, you know, defensive strength on zero. That's just how I play. Now, as far as badges go, for this video, I'm going to be completely honest with you. This jump shot is for ISO players. This jump shot is for spot up players. This jump shot is for hash shitters. It's for everybody across the board. This jump shot is literally for everyone. Now, as far as my shooting badges go, I have 16 out of 20 on this new build. And I'm gonna tell you right now, corner specialist on gold is great. Green machine on gold is great. Catch and shoot on gold is great. Dead eye on silver is great. Uh, volume shooter on hall of fame is good. Well, great. Claymore on gold or hall of fame are perfect. Blinders on gold is amazing. If you can get it on silver, I, I recommend it. Limitless range, silver or better. I'm telling you, like literally, end all be all. And for all my moving three shooters, Agent Threes is good. And, I'm, and no, I'm not going to be talking about moving threes today. We'll worry about that in another video. Now, let's go ahead and uh, go into the jump shot, man. So, what you, of course, my jump shot is named Kevin Save Me. And I'll tell you guys more about that. But basically, what you guys want to do is come in here and create a jump shot, all right? You want to use what i have here okay make sure you have kevin durant's base i know i know a lot of people are going to say well you know kds isn't that good it's amazing it's literally amazing if a lot of you guys can run around here with oscar robinson you can run around here with kevin durant trust me now the release one is julius randall and the release two is rudy gay for the love of me, I've been using Rudy Gay for like the last five to six years. I can't lie to you. Rudy Gay's jump shot has just always been a good shot to see with a cue. All right. Now for the release speed, max it all the way out. The reason for this is it helps with the uh, release speed and the time and impact. Right now with the time and impact going down from an A to an A minus, that's totally fine because we'll take that A release speed any day. So think about it like this, right? If time and impact goes down from A minus, but the release speed goes from a B plus to an A, it skips A minus. So you're not losing that much from timing impact, but you're gaining so much more in release speed. Now, as far as the blending goes, the reason it's 70 30 is because it changes the whole defensive immunity and everything like that. So look, as soon as I changed it from 70, to uh, 69 on Julius Randle, the release speed went down, okay? And if you keep dragging it all the way to Rudy Gay, it's gonna lose more release speed. So you don't want more Rudy Gay in his jump shot. You want more Julius Randle. Now, of course, some people will say, oh, bruh, but a B minus defensive immunity, if you go more Rudy Gay, you, you gain more defensive immunity, yes. But what you lose is release 
speed, which means it's faster for you to get the ball out your hands, which means defenders that are closing in from the front, from the side, they have less time to defend you. Also, when you're using dead eye on silver or better, they don't matter. You can shoot with your Q because your jump shot won't change much at all. The release speed won't change much. All right. So let me drag it on the way back. So again, remember release speed all the way up blending 70 on Julius Randle, 30 on Rudy Gay with Kevin Durant's base. Now, another thing that you guys might be thinking, why is this release so good? Kevin Durant's jump shot base gives you a A plus release height, which means when you're jumping for your jump shot, literally you're shooting over people. Like, you know, you know the term from Duke overdose? You're literally shooting over people because you're jumping higher. Your arms are higher. They can't, they can't contest. This jump shot is so good, they can't contest, man. You know what I'm saying? And, and that's that's really it. That's all I got. That's my jump shot. So I want to thank you guys so much for watching this jump shot video, man. Make sure that you guys hit that like button. Uh, if you enjoying this jump shot, share it with others, man. Let people know that there are now jump shots out here for people who like to see their release instead of shooting off field. Remember, this is a Q jump shot. You can shoot with this jump shot off field, but I 100% guarantee if you shoot off Q, whether you're on Wi-Fi, Ethernet, you're playing on an OLED t uh, TV, like a 56 inch, a 40 inch LED, a 72 inch LED, uh, a, a one millisecond gaming monitor, a six millisecond gaming monitor, uh, a 1080p monitor. If you're playing with your controller plugged in or not plugged in, it won't matter. This is a Q jump shot. So every time you see that release, from here to here, it's automatically green every single time. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.